Today I'm going to show you how to take this $8 plug and step up your smart home game. Let's get started. Hi, I'm Norman Beckles and welcome to another video. If this is your first time here and you want to learn how to make technology work for you, please hit the subscribe button now and be sure to click the bell icon so you don't miss a thing. So we've talked before about smart home and beefing it up and going from there. And if you looked at the other video, we've talked about the uh, Sonoff controller where there was a little bit, there was a little bit of cutting involved and you guys, some of you guys got a little nervous. But today I want to talk about the Tekken or Tekken or Tekken, 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 Tekken smart plug. And the reason I like this one is it's basically what we created here. This was five plus the cord might be another two and then it took some time to put it together. But this is all set and ready to go for eight bucks. So we can go ahead and we can go with these. So why do I like things like the Sonoff and the, the Tekken? because these don't require a hub, these only use Wi-Fi. So how do they, you know, how, how does the signal get to them to tell them to turn them on or off? Well, they use Wi-Fi and that's a big thing because you already have Wi-Fi. You already have Wi-Fi in your house already. So as long as you can get a Wi-Fi signal in that part of the house, then you can control one of these two devices. It also makes it a heck of a lot easier to set up and it kind of goes with you. So if you haven't done smart home projects before, these types of devices are the thing to start with because you only need to buy this. So for an $8 investment, you can get one of these tomorrow and hook it up and use it from there and be fine with it. All right, so we're going to use our ever popular Christmas light and pair this up with our system. Now, the first thing that you should do is make sure that your phone is connected to one of your 2G signals. Now, a lot of homes have Wi-Fi signals that are 2G and 5G, and you need it to be on 2G. Two, the, the quick difference between them is 2G is stronger and slower, 5G is faster and not as strong. So all of these devices use the older 2G system, which is stronger, uh, and, and, but it's slower. But again, it's only gonna send a couple of pieces of information to either turn the light on or turn it off. So it's not a big deal. But you have to be on the, on the 2G system. So make sure you're on the 2G system. Usually your system will say 2G or 5G. I've renamed mine. As you know, I'm a big Thunderbirds fan. So guess what? Thunderbird 5 is my 5G system and Thunderbird 2 is my 2G system. So I have it already set. I've set my phone's Wi-Fi to the 2G system. Now, the next thing that we need to do is load the app. So we're gonna go ahead and load the app and the easiest way, they will show you in the book which one to use. As I said, the reason I like the Tekken is because they actually put the QR code right on the device. So in my case, I'm gonna go to Bixby Vision and you'll have, you may have, if you don't have, uh, Bixby Vision, which is fine. Any of the, if you take a picture with your phone, it should recognize that it's a QR code. And as you can see, it's trying to figure it out. Bada bum, bada bing, bada boop. And it's gonna go and tell us that it's using this uh, program called Smart Life, which we've actually used before. Uh, it uses that same chipset. So you can see I already have it installed. So if you didn't, you would go ahead and install that. Once you install it, it asks you for a username and password, and then you can start adding devices. We have our, in this case, our little Christmas light. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna plug that in to there, and then we're gonna plug that into the power. That's all we need to do. Okay, so now it's plugged in to the power. Now, most times you have to hold the button uh, on the side of the device, so if something happens and you're like, you need to turn the light on and you, the app's not working and your Amazon or whatever, you can simply push this button on the side and that will either turn it on or off, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and go back into the app itself. Here we go. I'm going to click on the plus sign to add a device. And it will start, it says, what am I looking for? Am I looking for an electrical socket? As you can see, I have outlet. You see it has a whole bunch of different pieces on here. Just pick the thing that's closest to it. In this case, we'll pick a, pick one of these. It says, all right, go ahead and confirm that the light is, is blinking. 
Uh, it is probably not, so we're gonna go ahead and push and hold the button for five seconds. One, two, three, four, five. I believe it is because I think that's why it's turning the device on and off, but that's okay. So we're gonna go ahead and click on confirm. It says, are you gonna use this 2G system? Yes, it says only supports 2G. We say, yep, that's fine. Uh, it says we have to put in the password for our system. And now it's gonna go ahead and look for it. Okay, and now it says device added successfully. It's called it smart socket. At that point, we can rename it whatever we want. Uh, we'll just call it, um, we'll be original here. We'll just call it plug one for right now. Okay. Now, how do we add that to our Amazon Echo? Well, we're gonna go over into our Amazon Echo app. I have to be careful, actually. Let's put that on mute before she hears me and starts going, what, 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 what? And then we're gonna go into skills, into skills and games. And we're going to search for smart life so again, first one, not highly rated, but that's okay. It, we only need it to turn on the light once or twice, and it's what connects with the Amazon Echo, and once we do that, we're all set. So no big deal there. So once we do that, we would go ahead and we would enable it. As you can see, I've already enabled it. And really, that's all it is. In this particular case, you would normally hit settings, and you would give the same account information that you gave when you loaded the app. So your username and password, which is probably your email address and whatever password you put in. And once you do that, it then can control any of those devices. So at this point, all we have to do is tell our Amazon Echo to look for new devices and it should say, hey, I just found something called Smart Plug One, I'm sorry, Plug One and add it. Alexa, discover devices. The screen's already gone off, so I think it's already done that. Alexa, turn on Plug One. There we go. Okay. And also on the spot, you'll see I actually get a little, I can actually turn it on and off from here as well. Okay. Or I can continue to use my voice. Alexa, turn off plug one. Okay. All right. And as I said, if we wanted to go in and change that to something else, we, we called it plug one. But if we decided we wanted to go in and change it to something else, we would simply come back into the app itself, click on the edit button, and now we will change it to uh, plug 12. Now we'll change it just to, to show you that. And usually, I think we have to do a discover again. Alexa, discover devices. Starting discovery. This will take up to 20 seconds. If you haven't already, please enable the smart home skill for your smart device from the Alexa app. Okay. So it said it didn't find any new devices and technically that's correct. This is not a new device. We renamed it. So now we should say, Alexa, turn on plug one. Sorry, I didn't find a device named plug one. Because we renamed it. Alexa, turn on plug 12. Okay. There we go. You got to love it. So that's a really good thing. So you can go ahead and set these all up. And then, you know, when you're, you know, you might even put a, like a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, or whatever you got, and then put them wherever you need them. And then when you need to change what they do, you just go in the app and change the name. You do not have to set them up all over again. All right. So let's go ahead and set this up with IFTTT. See how easy that is. I'll put a link up above about what IFTTT is, but basically it's a cloud service that allows you to create some really simple routines. So I'm gonna go into my IFTTT. I'm gonna hit new and for the this, I'll just make it that uh, I call my phone. So I'm gonna turn on phone and Android phone and I'll just say uh, call is missed. So if a call is missed, then we wanna turn that light on. Again, we come over to which service and it actually happens to be again smart life so we'll go ahead and click on smart life and what do we want it to do we want it to turn on and again it just goes it knows which devices because it's already connected through now if you hadn't used this the first time you would put in the same username and password uh, that we've been using all along but 
So I've already put that in so it already sees it. It has the dollhouse light and when we click the drop down, we get plug 12 because that's now what we're calling it. We click on that. We click on create action. We click on finish and that's it. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that down right there. Okay, so it's calling it. We'll go ahead and hang up. So we missed that call. And after a few seconds, they, oh, you gotta love this stuff. Come on, come on, you gotta love this stuff. So it was that easy to uh, have that happen. Hopefully you'll try this out. Like I said, it's an $8 investment. And again, you can put these on anything. I actually have it on the refrigerator here in the studio because every time I'm doing a video, I can hear it in the background and it drives me crazy. So now I actually have it set up so that when I say to my Amazon Echo that I wanna make a video, it turns on the lights and turns off the refrigerator. And then as soon as I turn off the light, it turns the refrigerator back on. And down in the comments below, let me know what you guys end up doing with these and what, you, what creative ways you come up with. Until the next time, this is Norman Beckles, the high-tech nomad, signing out.